So in this video, I want to show you where the trapezium rule comes from. We looked at a particular example in the previous video, and hopefully that will um, show you kind of how this works in practice. So if we have a general curve like this, and we want to work out an estimate for the area between the curve and the x-axis, then what we can do is we can split this up into trapeziums. Okay, so we would start off with this initial x value, let's call it x0. Okay, and so each point along the x axis will have a respective y coordinate, and we can call this one y0. Okay, so let's call that x0, y0. Okay, and then you're going to have another point uh, further along the curve, okay which will have an x coordinate of x1, and let's say that that's x1, y1, okay? And then I'd have x2, x3, x4, all the way up to, eventually, um, I would have xn and xn minus 1. So this point would be xn minus 1, y n minus 1 and this point would be x n y n okay so each time I can draw myself a little trapezium okay or a chord joining those two points and create that trapezium shape okay so in order for this to work what I must have is each strip width to be exactly the same thing, okay? So what I'm going to say is that each strip width is going to be h, okay? Each width the same length. Okay, so the area of a trapezium, okay, if we remember back to the previous video, is given like this, so it's one half h a plus b. Okay, so that would be the area of that trapezium. So I would have the area of this first trapezium to be one half times h times a plus b. So a is the height, the left hand height of that trapezium, so that's y0, plus the height of that length, so y1. Okay, so that's the area of that trapezium. Now, if I look at the next trapezium along, then this would be x2, and this point would be x2, y2. Okay? And that trapezium would have a, an area of 1 half times h, because that's the same width again, times by, now, y1, because that's the left-hand height, plus y2. Okay, the second height. And this would go on for each trapezium as I go along, all the way up to this final trapezium there, which would be 1 half h times y n minus 1, oh, sorry, plus y n. Okay, now, what we'll see in each time is that we're going to have this y1 repeated each time. So there's going to be a repetition of y1. There's also going to be a repeat of y2, so two y2s, two y3s, two y4s, two y5s, or, and all the way down to two lots of y n minus 1. But there won't be a pair for either y0 or y n. Okay? So they'll be left alone. So what I can now do is factorise this, because each of these has a 1 half h, which I can bring out the front. And I've got this y0 and the yn, so I'll write those down first. Plus, each of the other ones is repeated, has a repetition. And so it's two lots of the rest. So I've got this y1 plus y2 
plus y3, plus y4, plus y5, all the way up to y n minus 1. And that gives me the area of uh, an estimate of the area underneath the curve. So what you can think of this is as 1 half h times the first plus the last plus two lots of the rest. That is how I remember it. Okay. Now this formula is given to you in the formula booklet. Um, it's on page four on the left hand side. So you are given this and just make sure that you can identify that that means the first, that's the last, that's the rest. Okay, And that will allow you to solve uh, these exam problems.